First of all, thank you so much for your amazing reactions on the first episode of me editing your photos. I was literally blown away. Today it's time for the second episode. Roll the intro. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rens. I'm a digital artist from the Netherlands and today's submitted photos are from a very, very special guest. She was the first one to actually submit a photo. This is my mom and honestly, very long time ago I promised her to create an awesome South Africa poster and well I have never done this up until today so in this episode I'm gonna edit your photo these are the two photos that she sent me on the left picture you see my dad looking up and on the right side we've got a pretty awesome mushroom well with a bit of imagination I think we can all understand what mom had in mind she left me a very short but sweet message Hello Renzi, wish you good luck with this amazing project, your mom. Thanks so much for submitting these cool photos. It's gonna be a quick one, but I'm very excited to show you what I came up with. So let's get started. Also for this edit, I started by cutting out the subject with a pen tool. Now, this is very boring to watch, so I'll skip ahead. To save some time, I also already cut out the mushroom. I figured there were some distractions covering the mushroom, so I used the inpainting brush tool to get rid of these. Then it was time to find a surface for the mushroom and the subject to stand on. So I went into the built-in stocks panel, I typed in grass and I found this grass field. Since I would replace the background later, I decided to mask it out for now. To give this image a bit of an adventurous feeling, I decided to add in a path. So I did the same thing, I went into the stocks panel, I typed in path and found this image. Next I positioned the path over the grass field inverted the layer mask and then painted back the path where I wanted it to be. To better blend in the path with the grass, I decided to desaturate it a little bit using a vibrance adjustment layer and then brighten up the shadows a bit by using a levels adjustment layer. I then created a second levels adjustment layer, brightened up the shadows even more and used the built-in layer mask to create extra depth. To create even more depth, I decided to add another background layer and use levels adjustment layer to brighten up the shadows a lot. Once the background was pretty much done, it was time to drag in the subject and position it with the move tool. And the same thing I did with the mushroom. Fixed the mask a bit here and there. And flipped it so the shadows would make a bit more sense. To make it look like the mushroom was standing on the grass, I used the grass brush to mask out the bottom part of the mushroom. Then I created a duplicate to put one in the background, used levels to brighten up the shadows to make it blend in with the background and another duplicate to put another one even further in the background. Then I removed the letters from the sign, but I didn't really know what to put there yet, so I left it for what it was and saved it for later. I figured I wasn't all that happy with the background, so I went back into the stock panel and found another one. I made some small adjustments to the mushrooms in the background, and then went back into the stock panel to find a beautiful snail to put on the mushroom. Also for the snail, I took my time to cut it out by using the pen tool. This simply gives the best results. Once that was done, I positioned the snail on the top of the mushroom using the move tool, fine tuned the mask a bit here and there, and then manually painted in some shadows so that it actually looked like the snail was sitting on top of the mushroom. Then I used an exposure adjustment layer to add some shadows to the snail and another exposure layer to paint in highlights. Even though there isn't really a bright light source, there's always some context shadows, so I added these as well under the subject. Then I use my custom cloud brushes to add some fog to the scene. If you're interested, these brushes are available in the link down below in the description. I then added some very subtle highlights to the mushrooms in the background to give the image just a little more depth. Now it was time to add some text to the little sign in the foreground, but I had no inspiration at all. So apparently my dad is on his way to Mushroom Bay, which is two kilometers ahead. To finish up the image, I decided to add a color balance adjustment layer on top of everything, adjust the colors to my liking, 
blurred the background, made some final adjustments, and real quick, if you want to short photos, before I show you the end result, if you want me to edit your photo in a future episode, then don't forget to send it to edit at imrancy.com. Now, let me show you the end result. Let's go. There we have the final result. Thanks mom for submitting your awesome photos and for supporting me on my journey to following my dreams. I definitely had a ton of fun editing this photo and of course I'll send it back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't seen the first episode yet make sure to check it out right over here. I am sure you will love this one. Alright, see you in my next video. Ciao ciao.